Hello everybody, welcome once again to the Flat Earth After Party. With me tonight, again, I have quasi luminous Mr. Mark Braun. How you doing, Mark? Good, how are you? I'm great, thanks. Thanks for joining me. Uh, Mark's been working on something for us. Um, so, Mark, if you're ready to take it away. I am ready. All ready. Go for it, sir. Here we go. So, what I wanted to point out is... Uh, that all the religions have all this like knowledge and it's broken up amongst all these different religions and it appears that little bits and pieces from each religion come together to, to paint us the entire picture and I'm going to start off with an example uh, being that I'm in America and most of the people I see around me are Catholics or Christians or whatnot um, you know, I did a video where I used this brochure that was, you know, they go door to door here in Florida, knocking on people's doors and dropping off brochures and stuff. And here, when you see these different symbols, like, for example, you see the bell right there. And you see I put a this ribbon over the face over here of Jesus. And some people might get offended by this, but you were told, worship no engraven images, no false idols. And then people run around with crosses in their hands, stuff like this. And what it turns out to be is that um, all the secrets are hiding in plain sight. For example, you go into a church and you kneel down to the feminine and you place holy water on your head and you do this flat earth motion like this. And, you know, you heard about these terms like the holy of holies and you have a Christmas tree and all these different symbols. They're all telling you something. And. You can see like the scarab beetle, that would be like Egypt. You see your birthday hat that you put on, you see your Christmas tree, and you see the Mayan calendar thing, and you see you take communion, all these things. It's like the same story over and over and over and over. They're telling you like the sun above your head is the light hole, and there's the black hole that was hidden from us. So this whole idea of Jesus and Satan and whatnot, it basically boils down to this image right over here. It's one side of a light hole is a black hole. Now, the black hole has to be eating the light hole and that's what we have candy canes for. So if you type into a Google search, black holes, you'll see some black holes are just a black like bubble where it blocks out any light being seen visible behind it. You know, it shows you absorbing everything, but then you see another picture of a black hole and it shows that it's eating something and you see the candy cane coming off of it. So what I'm getting at is that if you type into your computer, like a Google search, black hole sun, and you hit enter, here's a picture that I, that I, you see this picture right over here with the circle and the hook and the square. What I'm seeing here is it's the same story over and over and over again. At the center of the dish, is where the light gets drawn into and it's spit out as the astraling light or astral light. And that's what you see with the question mark and you see Shiva, you know, you, you see the light preserver has the four rivers that go and feed into that hole. And Mer Mount Maru is the invisible mountain. That's the exclamation point. Now you see these gumball machines all around that, you know, if you have any children, they're always, oh, get me a gumball. And you see over here, that you know this is it's like literally the same story over and over and over again it's on all the symbols i could go on for days with this stuff and this was very important also for everywhere i turn on youtube i see people uh calling this a satanic symbol and what's what's funny is that clearly shows you two fingers up and two fingers down that's telling you as above so below as within so without and the whole point of this uh, video that I wanted to get across today was that it it's not something that's complex. This is very simple to understand. When I say the division symbol, that's exactly what it is. A line, which is a flat plane, with a dot up top that goes around like this. And then there's the dot down at the bottom, which is fixed. It doesn't move. It has to stay fixed because the green astral jet has to come out the hole at the center of the dish. So the sun underneath, they showed you in the Pirates of the Caribbean, they showed 
in the Pirates of the Caribbean that they went down the vortex and then they flipped upside down and they popped out and they were literally upside down. So when you see the division sign with a line and two dots, that's exactly what we're living on top of. And if we were to go in that hole at the center of the dish, when we popped out on the other side, we would literally be uh, on the bottom half and would be like we were standing upside down. And, you know, they say that the deepest hole that anybody's dug into, like in Russia, was something like 12 miles down. And then they can't go any deeper because all the, all the drill bits keep breaking and whatnot. And that tells me something. That tells me that they can't go any deeper than 12 miles because on the other side of that 12 miles begins the other side of the plane where you would end up digging in and literally pop. You can't do that because there's that barrier is unpen. You can't penetrate that barrier because it's like two universes. You understand me? This is literally like two universes. That's exactly what we're looking at here. There's two universes. It's one sun, that flat earth plane that we're on top of right now. There's an underside to it where there's perpetual twilight. And that is where the everlasting light is going to be found on the other side of that hole. When we go into that hole at the center of the dish, where every compass points to, that's going to take us to the land of perpetual twilight. And in that land of perpetual twilight is the living waters that you would drink from that gives you everlasting life. When people go to church, you know, this is something that people, uh, for some reason, they don't understand what this word amen, you know, that comes from amen ra. And when you go into a church, you'll notice that any house of worship has stained glass windows on it. Doesn't matter what you're Jewish, doesn't matter what religion it is, you'll notice that there's stained glass windows there because they're blocking out the sun above your head so that every bit of your focus is, is placed onto the black sun. And you could see like your birthday hat. You, you know, you blow out the candle and you make a wish. Which are, you say you blow out the candle, you close your eyes and make a wish. That's the way it works. Close your eyes and make a wish so that you're focusing your intent onto the black sun. Once you have this basic knowledge, then everything starts to come together. Ra is the sun above your head that's making your flesh and your bones and your blood. And amen is what's bringing your intent into fruition. So whatever your desires and your wishes, whatever they might be, that's going to be brought into reality through the black sun. And this is why they have everybody calling this satan or whatever scary type ideas that you can have running in your head that's exactly what they like when i see this mayan thing you know they try and make this stuff real scary so that people don't want to go to these places because if you go to those places you're not going to want to come back and be a slave here and you know there's all these different games check your six rainbow six cover your six deep six it's the same story again and again and again being played out here that we need to go to this hole because, you know, they say check your six. They're talking about your backside. And being that it's not the shape of a vesica Pisces, that hole, which is like the two circles, like I was showing in this other picture. Where is it? With the two circles, you see the vesica Pisces shape at the center of the dish. It's not a vesica Pisces. It's a ring like an asshole. So that's why it's the ash trailing light or astral light. They're, they're literally making a statement that this is like an asshole. It, it's got to be called that because it's not shaped like, like a Vesca Pisces. So when they show you this light preserver with the four lines on it like that, it's, it's like the same story. Here, if you see like the wreath, if you carry these two lines through, you'll see that's an X. So X marks the spot at the center of the dish, but X being wrong answer, they tell you like on at school, when you get an X, that means wrong answer, right? And also you sign on the X, you sign on the X, right? You'll see that when you do documents, like the bank will say, they'll put an X over here, an X over there, and they want you to sign on right beside the X. And what they're telling you, well, we know X is wrong answer because you can't get anybody pregnant by having sex in the ass. So... Um, I'm not trying to get fresh with you. What I'm trying to say to you is that somebody along the line has made these symbols exactly the way they are for a reason. And they're telling us something, and that's how they get away with it.